Hello and welcome to this ONDR module video, VIN sticker part 2. Decoding the VIN number. This is video 182 in our series of Xcate videos. In this video we're going to look back at the door VIN sticker again uh, with actually a view to deciphering the VIN number itself. Uh, in part 1 we covered the date code, paint code, trim code, uh, meanings and all the different uh, variants the weight and max load numbers and the type approval reference. But in this video, part two, we're going to cover just the VIN numbers. Now it needed its own video because actually there are three different structures of the VIN number throughout the XK8 XKR X100 manufacturing based on the year. I think this is partially due to the fact that Jaguar was using its own bespoke VIN numbering system and ISO or the international standards were trying to be uh, formulated uh, around about the year 2000, early 2000s. So hence Jaguar was modifying its number uh, to actually conform with the uh, international standard. If you're interested, the VIN number is the long uh, number or the uh, long uh, uh, numbers and letters within your uh, VIN number sticker. It's the one starting with SAJ. Um, interestingly, the final digits are actually the production sequence number. The production sequence number didn't start from zero, it actually started from 1001. So you can see in the case of my car, my car was sort of a 5300 and odd uh, built, so it's a reasonably early car. Uh, the VIN number is also shown in a plate behind the front windscreen, which you can view. Uh, you need to make sure all these numbers are actually all the same. Um, the VIN number is also stamped or dot pinged in the luggage compartment just by the side of the battery there underneath the CD multi changer. If you pull the trim up it should be easily visible. The VIN number is also held uh, inside the engine management unit. You could read that either with an OBT2 reader that's compatible or there is a bit of a hack if you depress the AB button on the trip computer, then turn on the ignition with the uh, button still depressed, the VIN sequence number, or the build number, will actually appear in the central binnacle readout. Um, so a quick hack there. Um, Jaguar Heritage have, uh, have actually um, a VIN number and explanation sheet, um, which is really quite helpful. But uh, the structure is quite complicated for the reason I've given. There's three different structures and meanings. Um, and through this uh, investigation with this uh, document and other documents, I've been able to decipher most of it. But I do need help with the 10th and 11th uh, numbers or characters for early cars for between 1996 and 1999. If you've got one of those cars, I'm really interested to know what those characters are to try and decipher this code for the early cars. Uh, okay, so let's go into the VIN numbers from 1996 to 1999. Again, the VIN number is the long number. Uh, the first three characters then are what is called the World Manufacturer Identifier, or the WMI. This is actually given out by the Society of Automotive Engineers the SAE in the US and it assigns these um, uh, references to countries and manufacturers based on an international standard ISO 3779 and ISO 3780. So it's not something Jaguar made up. <laughs> the first two characters actually represent the region in the world. You can see that, uh, that uh, SA to SM is actually United Kingdom. SN to ST is Germany, etc. And if you're in Japan, it would be J, uh, Sri Lanka, K8, KE. And it's list, the list goes on. United States, obviously, you've got 1, 4, 5, or um, 7F to 70. So, interesting, the first two uh, digits are the world region. The third uh, letter then is the actual maker. So, the coding for Jaguar, actually Jaguar has two codes. It has one for a car, a Jaguar car is SJA, which is what I can see on my VIN number, but also SJ, uh, SAD, which is Jaguar SUV. The fourth letter of the vehicle identification number then is something to do with market and airbags. 
not 100% sure, but according to my decoding, it's the USA spec for airbags. My, covers, my car covers that spec, even though it's uh, been sold in the UK. The fifth letter is actually the model range, so identifies the type of car it is. In this case, mine was G, which equals XK8. The sixth letter then is a, a class. I'm not sure what class means, to be honest, but I think it's something to do with, again, safety systems. But mine is A, which is baseline. The seventh letter, letter is the, the uh, body type. In my case, E is coupe. Uh, the eighth letter is actually the engine variant. D equals four liter. You can see the different variants there as well. And the ninth letter is actually the transmission and steering. So you've got three, four, seven or eight as options. Mine is three, which is auto right hand drive. Obviously, there's no seven and eight on a Jaguar XK8 XKR. They're all automatic, apart from one car, legitimately. The tenth letter is actually uh, the model year. Um, the ISO st standard for the tenth letter is actually the model year, but I can't figure out what Jaguar is doing with the early XK8 because it doesn't conform to the model year ISO standard. I got a feeling they used A as the first uh, model year of the XK, XKR, the first level, but I could be wrong. And that's where I need some input from you guys. Maybe we could decipher this code together, but if you have any idea what it is, please let us know. And if you could share your VIN number with us, that would help. The 11th digit, again, is the, normally it's the emission control system, um, but it doesn't conform here again. So A, R, or R in this case, uh, according to the standards I could see, would be six liter emission G, which obviously is not, again, need some more information on that. So for these early cars, the 10th and 11th characters are a bit dodgy. Uh, the last six digits, again, are the identification number, the build sequence. Um, the build sequence, as I say, started from 1001 right to 48,684. Um, help then. So I found that this was the closest vehicle numbering system I found relative to XK to XKRs from uh, 1996 to 2000. And this was one that I found uh, Graham had posted on Jaguar forums. Uh, for the X308, the uh, the character 10th, 11 characters are close, but still don't make any sense for my VIN number. Again, if you know, please help. I'd like, really like to decipher that. If you've got a car, early car, please share your VIN number with us and we'll try and work it out. Okay, the VIN number then from 2000 to 2003, this is... Uh, practically conforming to the ISO standards at this point. Uh, this vehicle identification number system for the X100, again, this is Graham's posting, is uh, it's, I think it's pretty accurate for these vehicles. I'm not going to go through in detail with that one. I'm going to do the last one. But the only difference between this and the last set of C uh, serial numbers or the VIN numbers is that the the characters mean the same thing. For example, the 10th character is the model year. The 11th character is the assembly plant. The 8th character is the emission control systems. The difference between the latter um, numbering system is the codes have a different meaning. So, for example, uh, character 8 in this case is emission control system. A equals V8 emission D. But I think on the other one, uh, the latter system, you know, there isn't A, it's numbers or... A means something else. Anyway, di di digress. So let's go into the details of VIN numbers from 2003 to the last uh, so 2005, six cars. Again, it's this long number. I'm using the different VIN number sticker just so it uh, just to mix things up a little bit. Again, the first three digits, uh, the characters are the same. Uh, Europe, Jaguar. Then we have the fourth letter is the airbag market uh, safety systems, which is D, which is USA standard. The fifth letter is the transmission, automatic or manual. 
uh, the six and seven letters are actually combined for the vehicle uh, type. Um, so in this case, it's 42, which is XK, XKR convertible. Uh, the eighth letter is then the emission control system of the engine. So in this case, it's C, which is XK8. The ninth character is actually a check character. I think this character is based on some sort of formula of previous characters within the VIN number in order to check its uh, validity as being a correct uh, VIN number. It has no um, uh, sort of uh, coding to the vehicle as such. It's just uh, something relative to the number so you can double check that it's, uh, it's correct. That's part of the ISO standards now. The tenth digit is actually the model year. Uh, you can see the table there based on ISO standards. So six equals 2006. I think you're getting the, let me get the hint, this is one of the last or uh, later cars. Um, the 11th character then is the build plant, the assembly plant. So this one's two, so two equals Brown's Lane, XK Brown's Lane. And then finally, the sequence number, as I say, looking at the Jaguar Heritage sequence uh, list, the last uh, number was A48684, and this one's 48665, so it's one of the 20th last to be built. So a really late car from this VIN sticker. So I've got one from the beginning and one from the end. Uh, if you're interested, the Graham, as I say, on Jaguar Forum shared this vehicle identification number system. Uh, and that seems pretty accurate if you're interested in that. There, there'll be links in the uh, video description to all these uh, references. Um, there was a, a Nigel who um, actually contacted me. Um, I triggered the original video part one. He has a very early XK8. And um, his, he also shares the same two letters as me, 10th and 11th, 11th letters as me, A and R. Um, Again, don't know what they mean. So we need anybody with a 1996, uh, 7, 8 or a 1999 car uh, to actually share the VIN code sticker with us or actually just those two uh, uh, characters, the 10th, 11th and the um, the manufacturing date code as well. That would help for maybe, maybe decipher them. So uh, if you can share that with us and help us decipher these two um characters for the uh, early cars. Um, I'll say the references uh, have, have come from various sources. There will be links in the description. Uh, Jaguar forums, I used a post by Supermod, GGG, Graham, on Jaguar forums. Extremely thorough posting, that is. If you've got any Jaguar, take a look at that. There's, I also use the Jaguar VIN decoder by Gus Glickas. Um, from jaguarpair.com. Uh, I also uh, use the post by Eric and Stefan Knapp in jaglovers.org. And finally, Jaguar Heritage, obviously the, the source of all uh, information uh, and their X8, X100 VIN number by year document. Hope you found that fascinating and of interest. Hopefully it'll help you at some point with your Jaguar XK8 XKR X100. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe and help us if you can for more XK8 videos.